renewed questions about police use of force. Sacramento police shot and killed a man Tuesday morning at a downtown parking garage after they say he pointed a gun at them. Do not grab the knife. And just weeks ago, another police shooting unfolded on a light rail train near Sacramento City College. Body camera footage shows a man charging at officers with a knife, and that's when they shot and killed him. No situations are alike, and that's why it makes these situation so tough to deal with. Ed Obayashi is a police use of force expert. He says in both situations, police did what they could at first. A crisis negotiation team tried to help at the parking garage and officers used de-escalation techniques on the train. We asked Obayashi, at what point is deadly force necessary? Once the individual poses a immediate danger to the officers or to the public, the officers have to react. They have to defend themselves or defend others. This focus on officers' actions comes as the Sacramento City Council approved 12 new positions to boost oversight of the city's police department. Six of those positions will be added to the Office of Public Safety Accountability, led by Director Letitia Watson. Their budgets have increased each year. They received additional staffing each year, but the office that oversees them has, has not. So that is a big problem. Watson says her office has never been able to investigate all complaints because of staffing. She wants the office to be effective in finding trends and patterns, and that requires a thorough look. So these positions would allow the office to look at every single allegation of misconduct. But four of the 12 new positions will be part of the police department. Some advocacy groups worry that means things will just stay the same. Yes, it can work, but it's, but it's not just going to it will have to take more than employees. Like if you bring these four people in and it's the same culture, they're gonna do what people have been doing for the past 30 or 40 years in Sacramento, what the police have been doing for the past 30 or 40 years. The new positions will cost $1 million for this fiscal year and then $1.8 million annually moving forward. All that money will come from the city's general fund. Reporting live tonight from the Sacramento Police Headquarters, Orko Manna, KCRA 3 News. Orko, thank you for the update and other news tonight. We now know the name of the man shot and killed by Sacramento Police in a downtown parking garage. He was 36-year-old Clavon Miles, and police say he was on top of a parking garage in the downtown Commons area, waving a gun and pointing it at people. Sacramento Police say their crisis negotiation team worked with him until they shot him.